skirting the edge. I am walking around the rim gingerly, minding where I put my feet, avoiding sulphurous broken ground where badly healed old wounds and scars stand proud, and watching for renewed outbursts, unstable fractures, sudden slides and shards. I have covered my nose and mouth with a mask that I hope will hide my fear, but my yellowy eyes reveal the noxious nature of the airs that rise through fissures in the lava flow from overheated gases deep inside, which thrust up to the surface of the febrile earth the coping of the mind. A fault, they say, a clash of worlds, a chemical imbalance in the brain. Our orchard. So God be praised for dappled things, for Gerard Manley hopplekins, for rosy, ruddy, wrinkled, bloody, spotted, scruffy, crumpled skins, for scabby, dumpy, cankered, lumpy, hearty, tarty, pippinkins, a squeeze of which make rosy cider, scrumpy cider, kilderkins, for shriveled, stillborn plums and peaches, withered damsons, whiskered quinces, walnut boats with broken beech masts, elderberries, fallen cherries, Worcester pears as hard as conkers, bottom heavy like some punters, silken, naked mulberries and desiccated apricots. Each one of them has fungal growths that mar and scar the morbid skin, and mistletoe that taps the sap within the haemophilic limbs, and caterpillars, aphids, beetles, sawflies, midges, wasps, and mites that sponge upon the leaves and buds like fawning, crawling parasites. Yet they survive, the handsome Norman, Dr. Hare's and Ashmead's Colonel, Williams, Bon Chrétien and Comis, Rivers Early, Laxton, Monarch, not just apples, pears and plums, but cousins by the score, the hundred, keeping bloodlines going, growing, lest a weakened branch should rot. Descended from the tree of life, each has its honoured yard of ground within the orchard with its share of sun and rain and holy air. For each is sacred, serves its purpose, teaches us to take and eat the fruit of wisdom, bitter wisdom, mellow, galling, sour, sweet. My Shadow I bury my misdeeds five fathom deep the sufferings for which I am to blame, omissions and commissions, and a heap of petty, selfish thoughts I cannot name. I think of them each night before I sleep, the foolishness of which I am ashamed, the perfidies, the downright crimes that keep my dreams in turmoil and my mind inflamed. They weigh upon my shoulders like a sack, a cumbrous, clumsy burden on my back. I glimpse its shadow as I walk the street, though others make no comment when we meet. Perhaps because I often see a face suggestive of some similar disgrace. <laughs>